to learn like how to actually like properly apply makeup so I don't look disgusting you know because sometimes I like put makeup on and I would literally look so ugly and so bad so I'm trying to learn how not to do that I'm finally just looking at 
to a nod. I'm literally dying. So see, like, it just looks, you know, nice. Like, no more. So I think I'm going to do my eyebrows just so I can get them over with and I don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, actually before that I'm going to set this, set this down a little bit. So I'm going to use the hairs, but I have so much of this so like I have to get it, you know, like I have to just use it up because I have so much of this. Not that I don't like it, it's just that like sometimes it does make me crease a little bit and sometimes it does make me look a little bit bakey but I don't bake well I bake on my nose because I'm so freaking oily on my nose so I just get like that much and I put it on my nose because I'm so oily and then the rest I just put it all over my face I don't add that much everywhere else because like I said like I'm pretty dry so my nose is like really oily so I need, I need to set that. I really need to set it and like bake it and lock it in place. Cause y'all, I'm really oily. I'm really oily right there. If you hear that like trickling sound, it's my freaking bathroom. Like it won't stop. It's the, I'm going to, eyebrows now so I've been really liking trying to do my eyebrows a little bit more uh, like what um, natural I guess you could say but sometimes they don't come out like that I don't know what it is but i'm so good at filling people's eyebrows in like other people's eyebrows in but when it comes to mine i really just i can never fill them in yeah those are my eyebrows i'm not gonna touch them anymore because i know i'm gonna screw them up if i keep touching it um this eyebrow pencil by nyx it's the wait it's the micro brow pencil and it's in blonde so then this is the color pop brow boss gel i don't know why i'm like talking i feel like i'm talking weird but it's just a clear one i like it so guys i've been trying to be like super productive during the day and i've tried to film this video already i did film this video already but i didn't like how the makeup looked and hopefully this one actually looks better if not i just refilmed this for you know, don't do this anymore. I hate my nose being so oily and so nasty. And my nose, like, it doesn't look bad when I bake on it, so that's why I do that. Sometimes it does, sometimes my nose, like, will look really bad if I bake or if I just put, like, certain products on it, it will look really bad. But I've been exfoliating and, like, trying to, like, do like be really good with my skincare and stuff so hopefully i think that's like what's helping it so now i'm gonna do the eyeshadow and i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on there i think i'm gonna do a like type of sunset eye i don't really know so i'm gonna start with running late i'm just gonna cut that and my other little one my crease just a transition shade because I don't really know what to do and this shade will help me like transition everything okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of cheesecake on the outer corner so it's like a dark orange just so and kind of smoky and sultry. So my 
gonna do a few of them. I don't like the spots eye. So I'm gonna put that in the this is spotlight eye. So I'm gonna put that in the crease in the inner corner of the eye. So I'm gonna put that in the crease. Then I'm gonna put a nap. talk about all these childhood shows like getting picked up for like a uh, comeback or like being rebooted or something like I'm kind of here for it but if they turn out to be like really bad I'm gonna be mad because not everyone was really happy with the high school musical reboot I didn't mind it um, I thought it was good but then like obviously they weren't trying to be like the original high school musical like they were just doing like a kind of spin off of that so hopefully with other tv shows they kind of do the same thing and they don't like try to do um or they try to like be the same or whatever um hopefully it's just like they're doing like a spin off and it's not exactly or entirely like the same thing I don't know i just feel like sometimes if you want to redo something do it accurate accurate accurately oh my god can i talk um or don't do it at all do you know what i mean like with the uh disney movies how they were like redoing them and doing live action like the lion king was really good because they didn't change anything, <laughs> um, which I like, you know, so, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get an even smaller brush and just blend everything out. This is pretty clean. It doesn't really have much on it, so it's pretty clean. I love how I said that, but it is. It's clean, so it doesn't have anything on it, and I'm just blending. So I'm going to just use this to, like, blend everything out. Okay. I'm gonna do the bottom wash line like this, and I'm just gonna add the pink, the 23, and the okay. So with the hollow, I'm gonna do this little tiny brush, 
and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on the back of my head, back of my head, back of my hand, oh my god, and I'm going to do just a tiny bit of concealer in the center right there, like with no one eyes, with there's no eyeshadow, just because I want this eyeshadow to look pop really nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off the rest of the concealer that I have. it out but still keeping that like shape and I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit let it get tacky so then once I put the uh, shimmer shade it won't it won't be like too sticky so for the shimmer shade I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm going to take La Sun in this shade and put it on. So I think it looks nice. Can y'all see this? Let me, get, let me zoom in a little bit. You guys can see what I'm doing. So I can see what I'm doing too because I don't have my glasses on and I low key like can't see. And there you go! Okay, then I'm gonna take uh, this little tiny brush that I use here and just slightly blend. Like, I don't want this to blend it out because I kind of like how like, it looks. Like, it looks like a cone shape and I kind of like that. But I'm just gonna slightly blend the uh, outer corner and inner corner. The same little brush. I'm gonna add gold down here on the lash line. Then I'm going to take, for the inner corner, I'm going to take that same little brush that we use. And I'm going to take a mixture of Everyday and Infinity. Just because, like, I want that little, nice little pop. I might add maybe, like, a little bit of less sun, like, on the upper corner. There's a liner. And it kind of looks like a Harry Potter makeup look. So, okay. If you got a little bit of shimmer, just get like a fluffy brush, look down, and just wipe off the little shimmer that's on your face. But a little bit won't hurt anybody. So I'm just taking a little fluffy brush and just going and making sure that everything is nice and blended okay so i'm gonna finish the rest of my face and i'll get back to you guys in a little bit okay guys so i'm back so i decided to what was i gonna say oh i don't know if i should put eyelashes on but i think i'm not going to because i feel like the lashes that i have are just kind of gonna i don't know should i hold on let me see they're gonna hide the look a little bit yeah so I'm just gonna wear my normal lashes and just put quite a bit of mascara on um, so I'm gonna curl my lashes and then this is the mascara I use I don't really know where you can get this because my mom gets it from mexico for my aunt so i really don't know where you can get it um but we get like all of our mascaras from mexico i actually want to try like uh, an american brand or uk brand you know not from mexico but for now i have this and since i don't makeup every day anymore because I used to um this mascara like lasts me like so long but it makes my lashes like really long and nice to the hair let's put it on here so 
so like I don't really have a lot of palettes and like I don't have a lot of makeup as you would think I do and like as my mom thinks I do my mom always thinks I have I have like so much makeup but I don't I just wish I had like that was the my wild bear comic lip liner I love this lip liner because it looks like my lips but better and I'm just gonna add some chapstick because I honestly don't feel like putting on uh, lipstick right now and it's gonna and that is the finished look ladies and gentlemen I really hope that you guys enjoyed this new series yeah so please let me know in the comments below um, what palette you want to see next if it's my three 35 eye palette or my great Charles palette so let me know which one you guys want to see next and I will make a video for that and don't forget to head over to my Instagram because over all my IG TV stories things um, I'm doing another series kind of like this but this time I'm doing um, Harry Potter inspired makeup looks so uh, based on each house so right now I am the first one up is Ravenclaw by Harry Potter and if you want to check out my Instagram go follow me over there it'll be right here on the screen somewhere but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching don't forget to hit that button down below and subscribe to become a member of my beautiful family because I mean I love them and I think that they're you know they're the coolest family out there period Sorry if this video was kind of boring and I wasn't like talking much. I just kind of was focused on the makeup. So if you want more talking in the next um, one of these videos, then definitely let me know because I will, I will do that for you. I just didn't really have anything like to talk to right now or to talk about. But yeah, don't forget that someone out there loves you because I know I do. Mwah.